So what's up, everybody? I'm Josh, and we're back in Donkey Kong Country. Uh, it took a while, but I beat this annoying-ass level along with all the other stuff that I had to redo after getting game over in the last episode. So uh, we're going to continue on now. I think this is probably one of my all-time favorite levels from the entire DKC series. Because, I mean... The whole level just looks great. I like the mechanic of the, the automatic rope. And it's got some really good music that fits really well with the level. So, yeah, did anybody catch that uh, Apple Keynote presentation yesterday? Or was it the day before yesterday? Yesterday. Well, I guess if you're watching this in video form, it was a few days ago. But, uh, yeah, to be honest, I wasn't all that excited about the stuff that they announced. Um... The Apple Watch stuff, as far as, like, the uh, the live health stuff, I thought that was pretty cool, and that could have some pretty good uses. <clears throat> but I was kind of hoping that they would announce a, like, a price reduction. <laughs> Because the Apple Watch is just, I don't know, it's just too expensive <laughs> for, like, general consumers. I know Apple products just aren't cheap to begin with, but $400 for something that is going to be on your wrist, and as small as it is, just doesn't seem worth it. I mean, I've got a watch, but I know plenty of people that want one, but it is just completely out of their price range. Shit, shit, shit. I yeah, fucked that up. And then, like, the, the iPhone 6S stuff. I wasn't terribly impressed with the that live picture thing that they're trying to to promote. And using the front screen as a selfie flash. I'm pretty sure there are already apps out there like third party apps that you can download that accomplish the same thing. The iPad Pro thing that they announced. Wasn't really all that impressed with that either. Um, to be completely honest, I'm kind of like a part-time Apple fanboy. But... 
It doesn't seem like they're being as innovative as they used to be. And I know I'm not the only one that says that, so... Hey, it's espresso. But basically what I carried away from the whole presentation was I won't be getting an iPad Pro. I probably won't get an Apple Watch until they release like the Apple Watch 2. Although, to be completely honest, I'm also... A little disappointed that they opted to call it... God damn it. That they opted to call it the Apple Watch and not the iWatch. Okay, well, I'm going to cheat. Because... Yeah. Retrons make life so much easier. which I should have been using since the beginning of this Let's Play. Because then I could have just utilized the save state mechanism and been like, hey, no game over. Son of a bitch. But yeah, I won't be getting an Apple Watch until they drop version 2. Um... Like I said a few minutes ago, I have a watch. It tells time. I don't really need to send my heartbeat to a friend. Plus, I don't have any friends that can afford an Apple Watch. So, that wouldn't work anyway. <laughs> Uh, probably going to skip over the, the 6S as well. Mostly because I just got the 6 back in like February. And I don't see that much of a difference. I mean, not enough to purchase a whole nother phone for anyway. I mean, like I said, I can get an app that will do the front flash if I need to take a selfie in the dark that bad. And that whole 3D touch stuff And the live camera picture thing. Not really all that impressed. Processing power. Being faster. My iPhone 6 is still fucking fast as hell, so... Upgrade not necessary.
Let's just go ahead and do that. Let's see, what else is going on in the world? Uh... We're only about, what, 20, about 22 days, 23 days from Soda City Comic Con being held in Columbia, South Carolina. Myself, Aaron, and uh, we'll be there doing some filming and stuff. Uh, representing TOC and Maddie from TOC Kids will also be there. Uh, she'll be escorted around by Misty from TOC. And she will have her own equipment on hand, so if you're going to be in attendance and want to come meet us, We'll be around or you know, we'll be doing interviews and checking out cosplay and all that stuff. And Maddie will be doing the same thing. She'll have her own camera equipment on hand. So if you'd rather be interviewed by her, then uh, go find her. <laughs> uh, she will also be in the kids cosplay contest so if you want to wish her luck that'd be cool uh, I don't have a graphic made for it on the screen but if you want to follow them on Twitter or Facebook I believe the address for both is either official TOC Kids or TOC Kids Official. And their video production is starting to pick up, so uh, that's cool. This is going to be one of those moments where everything's just going to keep going wrong. <laughs> but yeah, we're really excited about this. It'll be our first con as a channel. Um, plus, it's the first year that this con is in existence. So, that's kind of cool both ways. Um... So yeah, link for that and following us on the Twitter and Facebook. That's in the description. Um, if you're going to be in the area, you should come check it out. Because, I mean, and tickets are cheap. It's like $10 per day or if you get a two-day pass, it'll be $15. And just as, you know, that disclaimer that we always have to put on crap these days, we are in no way associated with Soda City Comic Con, nor are we being paid or sponsored by them. It's just strictly of our own interest. Also, while I'm on it, Nintendo nor Rare is sponsoring us playing Donkey Kong Country, blah, blah, blah. And 
And you should probably get used to hearing those phrases more often from us and from all the other Let's Players because... If you haven't heard with the whole machinima of Federal Trade Commission crap that's been going on, there's a good chance that we're all going to have to start disclosing every single video as to being sponsored or not. I'm not going to cover what went down because I'm not part of Machinima. And there are plenty of other videos out there that you can go watch that will explain the situation. Some of which are probably a lot more firsthand than I could ever attempt to give you. Back of this fucking rope shit. I hate to save state like every five seconds, but that might be what I have to do just to get through this level. made it. This is another level like the ice cave level from earlier where the scenery is just amazing and the music just matches perfectly and like if I go to OC Remix to check out some music there are just tons of remixes of this track and pretty much every single one of them wound up on my iPod. Although it makes you question other than video game logic in itself. How do monkeys breathe this long underwater and it's an ice world so how are they not freezing to death at this point? Also what are cold blooded animals like octopus and shark and squid doing here? Probably should have picked a better safe state location.
Yay, now we get to swim through this whole thing all over again. It's actually not that bad. The only slightly negative thing about it is the uh, the way we have streaming set up and the software and shit that we use. The game audio comes through very, very faintly on the headsets because if it gets turned up too much louder, then it starts getting picked up by the microphones and... And there's this really terrible echo, like if you've watched some of the early episodes of the Final Fantasy stream, that's basically what the problem was there. <clears throat> so, like, the major redeeming quality of the water levels in Donkey Kong Country I don't even get to appreciate <laughs> because you can't hear them did the same thing last time Also, just to be clear, the only reason that I'm kind of spamming the save state feature is because I'm really low on lives. And once I reach Candy's save spot, then that'll probably cut out. I like how Donkey Kong looks when he's riding the animal friends. He's like, yeah, I want a swordfish. What of it? Yeah, we don't care what Cranky has to say because he's cranky. <laughs> so this is something that always kind of confused me when going from this game to Diddy's Conquest. Squawk's there, the one with the flashlight. You can clearly see how big he is in regards to Diddy. But in DKC2, Squawk's must have went through like some massive steroid usage or something because he's a lot bigger and he can carry Diddy and Dixie. So... What the hell happened there? I mean, Bird's like, he's definitely smaller than Diddy right now, and the way his height kind of fluctuates, it almost looks like he's struggling to hold that lamp, so 
he definitely like Schwarzenegger it up in Diddy Kong's quest or Diddy's Kong quest. <clears throat> Although I will say that the Bramble Scramble Squawk missions in DKC2 are probably my yeah, they're definitely my favorite style of levels. Plus, same thing with the water levels in this game. Those levels have the best music. I think those levels are the ones that are also filled with the most glitches. As far as, like, speedrun exploitation goes. I barely made that. I made that by like the pixels of DK's toes. <laughs> Son of a bitch. I have no idea which one of these I have the most of. I know it's not espresso. <clears throat> I think I had two of Winky, which would have made a bonus level. Also, that's a really shitty fucking drop point. Well, whatever. At least I made it to the safe spot. It's been about 30 minutes. So, that's going to be the end of the stream. Uh, if you tuned in live, thanks for watching. Uh, if you're catching this in video form, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. You can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, all that stuff's up on the screen for you. Uh, links are also in the uh, excuse me. Links are also in the description below. Uh, you'll also find links to mine and Aaron's extra life campaign page. Uh, we are raising money for the Children's Miracle Network. Specifically, it's a local hospital for us, uh, MUSC Children's Hospital. They do great things. Uh, I can't speak for Aaron, but honestly, if it wasn't for the MUSC Children's Hospital, I wouldn't be here right now. So, um, if you can, help us out with that. Um, there is no minimum donation, but if you do donate $6 or more, you get guaranteed access to the Rainbow Six Siege beta. So, that's worth it. Um, also there's a link to Soda City Comic Con's webpage and there's also a merch shop check that out we sell things and if there's like a fan funding button anywhere if you want to make a donation to the channel or anything like that to help us produce better content we would greatly appreciate it and on that, I think we're going to call it.